very pleased now to be joined by the new head coach of the Oklahoma Sooners, Brent Venables, joins us now. Uh, longtime defensive coordinator at both OU and then, of course, at Clemson over the last few years and comes home of sorts, coach. I know that that's what kind of you you feel like, you and your family coming back to Oklahoma. Um, first of all, thanks for joining us, man. Yeah, I appreciate you having me on. Uh, th this team, from the outside looking in, seems to have gelled and have a, an uncommon chemistry in particular for a new coaching staff, you know, in this day and age, but back, back in the day, as you know, a new coach would come in and he would say like, well, I need two or three years to get my guys in the locker room. And yet here you are after two games and it really feels like they are your guys. Uh, how did you guys achieve that chemistry so quickly? I think um, being very intentional just about developing relationships, genuine relationships from the very start before we got to any kind of strategy, before we handed out any playbooks. We spent, you know, really our first few months uh, trying to uh, get to know them, their families on an intimate level, and, uh, and they were receptive for that. So uh, I think that's the foundation of what you see from a cohesion and the chemistry uh, standpoint. And, uh, and then I, I think that we have a, a staff that's full of, of, of guys that are relationship driven coaches. So that's a very naturally organically and naturally uh, natural place uh, for, for them to be as well. And, and then, and then lastly, these guys have wanted the things that we're asking them to give, you know, they've really been receptive to the Again, the structure and the discipline and the accountability uh, that foundationally to me, you got to have uh, to have a, uh, a long term, you know, sustainable program. You know, it's, it's interesting because I, I think in order to have that buy in from the players, you got to have the buy in from the staff. And, and, and in most cases, a head coach would bring in kind of his whole new staff. And yet you have a marriage of old and new, in particular on offense. And this, as you know, was a very successful offensive staff and, and team over the last few years. And here you have Jeff Lebby and, and Bill Biedenboe, and they're working so well together, it seems like. When I watch the tape, you know, yeah, there were some slow periods last week in the first half, but they figured it out. And it seems like that marriage is really working out. Yeah, I think there's a, um, there's a, a tree there that, May, maybe people don't know as much about, but, um, you know, Jeff was a former player here, uh, coached here, got cut his teeth in the profession here, and then uh, has has known Bill Biedenboe uh, for many, many years and a lot of close friends uh, in that family. Uh, so there's, from a relationship standpoint, there was some relationship there. And then, you know, between Coach Finley, our tight ends coach, uh, Coach Murray, our running backs coach uh, and coach uh, Levy, you know, there's a long history here at Oklahoma together as both players and, you know, young coaches in this profession. And same thing for me, you know, having uh, been a part of recruiting DeMarco out of Bishop Gorman, uh, as well as Joe John uh, out of Arlington, I recruited those guys. And, and again, was here when Jeff was here as a player. So there's a natural um, uh, chemistry uh, from a relationship standpoint uh, that was already here uh, that's helped enable, you know, transition and uh, the success as well. So, I, you know, I, I don't think I would be surprising you to, to, to tell you that defense isn't the first thing that you thought about in the last five or six years when you thought of Oklahoma. You thought of those quarterbacks and the high-powered offense, and yet here you are, defensive coordinator, uh, defensive coordinator as your background, and you've played really good defense so far this season. And you can see and sense that transition happening, in particular up front. You guys are getting after the quarterback. You're 10th right now in the FBS in terms of scoring defense. What would you like to see from this group moving forward as you continue to develop this season? Well, I'll, I'll say this. I, uh, we got a long ways to go still. Um, we really, you know, again, haven't accomplished anything. I'm glad it's uh, that you can see uh, some improvement having covered Oklahoma uh, over the last several years. Um, I'm really proud of our, our players for the work that they put in, um, being able to see results from the hard work, you know, creates additional buy-in and uh, validation of what we're asking them to do. Um, we're still very 
in the infant stages of, of developing both a culture and an identity on defense, um, an understanding um, from the players and continue to development from a depth standpoint. Um, we lost uh, a bunch of guys uh, to the NFL after last season. So we've got a whole bunch of newbies, but they're all new from a systematic standpoint. And again, learning a new language and what have you. So proud of the players and the coaches for the progress that we've made. Some of it's more incremental uh, than you want, but at the same time, uh, you know, there's, there's noticeable improvement and we still got a long ways to go. Uh, but, you know, from an identity standpoint, we want to be fundamental, you know, disciplined, uh, physically tough, you know, play with, you know, relentless effort, uh, violent uh, from uh, a physical standpoint and having an edge and uh, a certain level of, um, uh, you know, belief in what they do. Some people call that swagger. And to me, that's that comes from, you know, being prepared and putting the work in. You know, I want a, a group of guys that are blue collar and uh, but play with incredible, you know, maturity and confidence uh, as well. And and again, I, I, I really have seen, again, noticeable improvement and the leadership is developing. Uh, two of our, our best players are our younger guys and Danny Stutzman and Billy Bowman. Um, but really proud of, again, the leadership overall. Um, it's been, you know, outstanding from Woody Washington to David Awebu uh, and, and multiple other guys to Sean White. You know, I think they're all, everyone's best football is still, you know, sitting in front of them right now. Well, it's big noon Saturday uh, this week. Gus and Ginny and I will be in Lincoln to cover the storied, historic rivalry of Nebraska and Oklahoma as you go in and take on the Cornhuskers. Uh, I'm sure you're looking forward to this one. It's going to be a great environment. It always is there in Lincoln. It doesn't matter what their record is. They're going to be there an hour before the game holding their balloons. You know it. I mean, <laughs> that place is going to be rocking, Coach. Uh, best of luck on Saturday against the Cornhuskers. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, I know, you know, as we know, it's one of the, I think two two of the games of the century were Oklahoma and Nebraska. And I grew up uh, having grandparents that lived in Lincoln, Nebraska. Now, that was my first collegiate game was Oklahoma in Nebraska. And um, what an honor it is to be able to, uh, you know, to, to play in it, to, to coach in it, all the – excellence that so many Nebraska teams, coaches, players have represented it uh, through the years. And, um, and again, it's a very prideful, I think um, maybe uh, since 1963, they've sold out every home game, uh, the longest streak in college football. And uh, they're real, really classy, um, very, again, they're gonna show up early and stay late, like you said. And, uh, and again, Nebraska, you know, I know they, uh, they've let their, their coach go, and um, you know, it's unfortunate. It's a bad side of the game. Uh, but at the same time, Nebraska has been incredibly competitive in their last 13 losses. Every single one of them have been by one score or less. So they've done a good job of recruiting. They've got good players on both sides of the ball, good schemes. And uh, there's going to be a lot of emotion and passion in that stadium, I know, uh, when the Sooners show up. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoy that clip, make sure you click subscribe somewhere down here. From game highlights to exclusive interviews and rankings, we've got everything you need as a college football fan right here, College Football on Fox.